what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new tactic video and today it is going to be a perfect positional play tactic i've not made one this year and i thought do you know what it's a very popular thing to do let's get it done and if you do enjoy the tactic so far this year be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel it is completely free and if you want to see rebuilds come over to the second channel which you can see above here because we post one every two to three days we're absolutely cooking but let's get into the results we have tested with a couple of typical ticky tacker teams but also we're throwing in some weaker sides as well so don't you worry so when you think of ticky tacker my head personally goes to manchester city and barcelona the first one is going to be man city where we pretty much win everything the premier league we also win the champions league we win the super cup which is going to be a 4-0 game against sevilla the fa cup we're going to win against arsenal in 3-0 fashion the carabao cup we win in 3-1 fashion over tottenham hotspur and also the community shield we win against arsenal in 1-0 fashion so it really is a complete perfect blitz of every single competition potentially we could have won and also we did win the club world championship as well now as for the Premier League I'm going to be honest we nearly went invincible only losing one game there against West Ham a bit of a direct team maybe they caught us off a little bit in some regard of the game but other than that it was a really really strong season almost well almost a perfect season 48 goals for Erling Haaland a 7.85 from Erling Haaland as well Ruben Diaz 7.55 a great rating from Bernardo Silva as well Jack Grealish thrives in this system out on the left coming inside absolutely incredible player 25 assists with Bernardo Silva just six behind him in that regard and Edison also picks up the most amount of clean sheets and what I will say is fewest conceded most clean sheets very competitive in terms of possession basically joint first with Arsenal and Liverpool very surprised Liverpool being up there to be honest with you pass completion again very competitive in fourth place the fewest shots against great thing we're actually having shots even though we are playing quite a ticky tacker based sort of theme most goals at 115 and the most points per game at 2.71 there's not too much to hate so far and if we go over to the data hub as well we can obviously get a little glimpse at 3.03 goals per game a great pass completion a great amount of shots per game and a great amount of goals conceded only 0.29 so this tactic is not the highest tactic in terms of goals being scored i've ever released on this channel but the football it plays is so good to watch it is like what it's like watching perfect football in fact let's go and watch a game watch the fo cup final against arsenal and as you can see the attacking options despite not scoring four plus goals a game you still have a lot of players going forward and the amount of players that get involved in this build up alone i mean you can see how good the passing play is to make it 2-0 and one last goal here towards the end a bit of press coming into play there it's beautiful. The next team you think about when you think of probably Tiki Taka is going to be Barcelona, where we put on nearly again the perfect season with just two losses, those being against Bilbao and Real Sociedad. Lewandowski, similar to Haaland in terms of his stature, not quality now potentially, but 50 goals from him. We've got three players in the average rating Rafinha, Gundogan, and Torres in 16, 16, and 15 when it comes to the most assists. And to Stegen picks up the most amount of clean sheets, which tells me we've been very, very good at the back, which we have. Fewest conceded, most clean sheets possession wise very competitive in second place and when it comes to the pass completion not at the top real sociedad really master in that but if you look at the league table i'm pretty happy to sacrifice three percent pass completion for how dominant we were now fewer shots against 155 the most shots at 595 the most goals at 128 and the most points per game at 2.74 now i will say apart from that it was the almost season obviously the champions league we played ourselves the spanish super cup runners up again a very close game against real madrid and also the semi finals unfortunately get knocked out against Real Madrid in the Spanish Cup now I will say this season was 100% simulated the Man City season wasn't I played the cup finals and I do like to think that if I was playing I could have obviously changed the attack and tactic and at least brought home two trophies so that is definitely something you can do back home if you are playing all the games yourselves or simply the important cup games again just a little bit more actually 3.37 goals per game 0.53 conceded so around about a 0.3 difference in goals scored and goals conceded over 15 shots a game a really good pass completion as we discussed and quite a tidy tackle win ratio as well so and as you can see compared to the average we're outscoring everyone anyway picked a game with a lot of goals just in pure hope that we can obviously get a real understanding of seeing how this tactic performs and i'm going to pause it here because this is where you see people take up different positions i mean you've got so many people that are making runs into the box there's actually a player behind him here as well which i can't quite click on but there are so many players that are making runs if you pause it here you have got one two three a bit of a tough one but four options to pass the ball to he actually finds the unlikely one in Rafinha to make it 2-0 and we go again with Torres down the right hand side same story 
story again look at the options on your screen so many options he's going to put it into the box now we're not afraid to go a little bit direct in that regard either as Torres picks it up on the right hand side he's going to drive it back stick into Lewandowski again not afraid to go more direct when it is needed and again we match it up with a set piece Rafinha into the box into Gavi who goes alone to I believe make it five which means there's one more goal a Raul into Roberto what a pass through first time into Pedri he's going to go what a finish in no means the best results and I will say I include this in the video because I'm not I'm not afraid to show you the reality of some of this and this is going to be with Frankfurt not the strongest team in the game but I will say this tactic might not be the best for a Bundesliga team unless you are playing as a Bayern or actually I'd say I'd say a Leverkusen would be really good but with Frankfurt we got the job semi done a fifth place finish nothing drastic to really talk about in terms of the results I mean in terms of everything we were just somewhat competitive I mean the third top goal scorers defensively were not actually going to be on there so it was where we struggled was the defensive side of the game we did however come out and actually win the DFB Pockel which was going to be against RB Leipzig in a 2-1 game and got to the Europa Conference League final so again if I was playing myself maybe maybe we could have come out and beaten Atalanta I'm pretty confident we could have done to be fair but overall it still is a decent season I'm sure the data hub is going to tell us the story 1.74 1.18 conceded so very close games for some reason we just couldn't really get it working with Frankfurt but what I will say is if you are playing as a top team in the Bundesliga a Leverkusen a Bayern I, I wouldn't even say Dortmund in that sentence because I don't really think Dortmund suit this style of play the other two teams I mentioned definitely do so you have got to have the right team or build the right team to play this very sort of patient tiki taka fluid movement system and I don't think Frankfurt are just quite that team. I say that and then I take a team like Preston who are definitely not known for Tiki Taka. A team predicted 19th in the league and we come out and actually finished in second place only losing 8 out of 46 games. Top goal scorer, top average rating, top assister and the most clean sheet. So we outperformed in almost every element individual player wise. When it comes to goals being scored, joint top. Fewest conceded, rank one. Most clean sheets, joint second with Ipswich Town and honestly a very, very strong season. The other cups, not too much to talk about, but to be fair, if you look at the teams we faced, Juventus, acceptable, that was obviously in the final, fourth round, Villa, acceptable loss, Tottenham, acceptable loss, so not one bit of me is disappointed, a very, very strong season, and if we actually look into the general performance, we conceded under a goal a game with Preston, we maintain nearly a 90% pass completion, a good amount of shots per game as well, it's a really, really strong season, so I guess it just comes down to individual teams, so the only real letdown so far of this video is going to be Frankfurt but again I include it in the video because I'm not going to hide it from you at the end of the day the other results are absolutely incredible and even with Frankfurt if we go back and actually have a little look to be fair European football again one trophy in your first season a cup final appearance it's not a horrific season again we make zero signings and I do actually believe if we go into our staff as well I think our staff did actually get poached halfway through so we go to the staff not the staff search or we go to the overview go to the coach and team you can see here we have not actually got an assistant manager so that also does affect simulation results so that probably does a bit of explaining of course over to your favorite part of the video that is going to be the tactic breakdown if you are enjoying back home be sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you want to get all three of these tactics today in one simple download you want the console and the mobile version you want access to my rebuild files on my second channel you also want the rebuild tactics you want access to this month's giveaway which is 375 pounds split between five lucky winners you also want so many more perks there's tons please do come over and join that patreon because we've got a team now over 4,600 people, nearly approaching 5k people that are there absolutely loving it and you get new perks every single month. So come on over and get involved because there's going to be some pretty cool stuff coming next month as well. So little, little secret between me and you. But let's go through and talk about this amazing tactic. So we are going to obviously base this around a Tiki Taka who would afford it. And it is going to be, of course, loaded in in that traditional 4-3-3 sense. Now, time to build the player roles first. So it is going to be a sweeper keeper who is simply going to be set to support Support, and you might be quite interested to know that the entire backline actually is going to be an entire default so there is not going to be a single instruction on any of these back line purely because they do the role exactly down to a T of how I want them to do it. Left we actually are going to feature this inverted fullback on defend and to be honest it works really really well I liked how it performed in the game so I thought do you know what let's roll with it. But on with this back line then we are going to go with the inverted fullback funny enough on defend and to be honest I don't really need to find any other instructions because for example I don't really want him running out wide I don't want him cutting inside I don't really want him marking tighter or tackling harder so we are simply going to leave him on the default which means because we've got quite a defensive inverted fullback which of course is going to cover this position we can actually opt and have a 
supportive libero which is quite nice to see i very rarely get an opportunity to use a libero so it's very nice to get one into this team and it worked really really well now next to him we are going to be using a ball playing defender obviously it's really really good for manchester city they've got the perfect back line to do this with but you can also build the perfect back line as well now when it comes to the right back i have gone with an inverted wing back on support who again is simply going to be on the default he's naturally going to be roaming sitting narrow cross less often and cutting inside with the ball everything i'd want him to be doing and this is going to complete your back line and what is really special about this back line is that every role is different so they are all going to offer something very different and they all obviously cover each other in a very very good way so i would say if you can't play this way so for example say you haven't got players that can play inverted fullback or inverted wingback the closest you're going to get to them is having a fullback on sit narrow and almost replicate what this role does that'll be my key bit of advice same for the right back if you've not got an inverted wingback have a wingback tell him to basically replicate what this role does and that's probably your best option going forwards but realistically probably in your squad somewhere you've got a player that can cover these roles so have a little filter through if not that's my bit of advice to you now going over to the midfield we are going to go with a dm who is going to be simply set to support with some instructions they are going to be shoot less and also tackle harder the idea of this player here is to be one of the few players that doesn't really move about too much really cementing that back line as well obviously offering some cover if this libero does push up for example despite the inverted fullback being there to cover having the dm also does help i don't want him to shoot and i want him to be quite aggressive in the challenges he's making which is why he's obviously going to be set to tackle harder now going to the right or the left hand side i've got my right and left mixed up then to the left the role you have to have if you want to play positional play, a box-to-box -box is crucial because it helps link up the play. Getting into different channels, which obviously we're now going to do, is absolutely vital to linking up the play. You need to have a box-to-box -box for this tactic to probably work, in my opinion. I will say that aggressively as well. It does need to be in the team 100%. Now, going over to what is going to be the midfield option in the third one, that is going to be the Mazala coming in on attack. Again, this player offers quite a fair bit. He offers five default instructions, which is why we do not need to add any more on. Rome, moving to the channels stay wider get further forwards and take more risks and what's great about him staying wider is the winger on the right who is going to be a winger do not worry he's not going to be on support he's going to be set to attack he is going to be told to come inside when he has the ball so what's going to happen is the winger is going to stay out wide but he is going to come inside with the ball the winger is or the mazala is naturally going to replace the winger which is why we saw it in the barcelona highlights i think it was the first goal with gavi he they're almost double up on that side and it's so hard to defend against and we have gone over and replicated the winger on attack again on this side and we are also going to tell him to cut inside with the ball i personally didn't do this but you could also have a very valid argument of running wide with the ball on the box to box but for me i didn't really feel like it was needed and the tactic done really really well but hey if you want to test it back home knock yourselves out and lastly we are going to go with the advanced forward who is pretty much the goal scorer of the team by far he is simply going to be set to default again moving into channels again based off the tiki taka on the positive mentality we are going to go all the way down to fairly narrow we're going to focus down the left and focus down the right hand side of the pitch with a standard tempo and a shorter passing directness so not very strenuous on the players which is quite nice to see in some tactics we are going to work the ball into the box and dribbling style we are going to dribble less which typically does result in this working a lot better but if you are trying to score more goals i would advise taking it off and when it comes to the final third we are going to go and simply select with low crosses because of the way the parson's done very rarely obviously we did sort of see it with the barcelona one which is a good example actually sometimes people think if you've got low crosses on you only have low crosses you saw in the barcelona games we were getting it into the box but typically it will be played on the floor but obviously if you've got Lewandowski back post we are also going to find him now in transition we are going to go with counter press we're going to go with playing to the center backs and taking short goal kicks again we've got zero interest in counter attack because we're not a counter-attacking team and holding the shape in the default tactic was a little bit too negative so we've left that nice and blank and lastly out of possession the standard line the high press line of engagement get stuck in we are going to prevent short goalkeeper distribution because we have got three players up there and we are also going to max out the trigger press now to the much needed attacking tactic because sometimes you just need that little extra so this is a very similar concept but again i will say it is slightly tweaked to get more goals out of the system we're going to kick things off with a goalkeeper who does remain the same this is where the real change comes in so we've got an inverted wing back on the left on attack and on the right now because we are really committing these inverted roles we have scrapped the libero and introduced two 
ball playing defenders purely because of the change of the inverted wing back really being aggressive now you can see the amount of instructions both of these have they're going to play a very important role of the attack a deep line playmaker comes in again as a replacement to really look at them forward runs being option um sort of optionized now the support role He's very good for this as well, on tackle harder, and obviously, I didn't go with the defend because we are an attacking team now, I want to try and push the ball up the pitch, so naturally, he is going to be taking more passing risks as well. The box to box is going to be on get further forwards and move into the channels, so really committing him forward now as well, and the Mazala does remain the same purely because he has five instructions anyway. Now, as for the wingers on the right and on the left, this is completely optional. For me, you can see I didn't do it. If your wingers have got good finishing, you can have shoot more often on. If you don't want to have that on, you don't need to. I personally and he didn't and the advance forward does remain the same. So again, Tiki Taka on the positive mentality, we are going to go down two fairly narrow. We're going to focus down the left and the right-hand side of the pitch while playing out from the back with a higher tempo being selected and a shorter passing directness. Now, as we go, obviously, in more depth in the in possession, we are going to go to be more expressive. I've unticked dribble less, but I've not got run at defense on, so it is going to be nice and defaulted. And the final third, low crosses with work ball into the box again. Now, what I will say, and I cannot stress this enough, if you are desperate and you really need a goal, there are a couple of things I would advise. Go and attacking in the mentality and also unselect and work ball into the box. But that's only if you're really desperate. Now, in transition, well, of course, we have got one key change, which is going to be distribute quickly to get the ball moving. But other than that, counter press, play to the center backs and take short goal kicks. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. And lastly, out of possession, we are going to go with the high pressing line of engagement, the higher defensive line, get stuck in, prevent short goalkeeper distribution, and the trigger press much more often. Defend those games out, and I will say, I know I really push the box to box, but this is much more of a very tame, not really even looking to score, but purely a control and tactic to simply seal out the last five to ten minutes by frustrating the opposition. So the goalkeeper is going to remain the same. Two, well, inverted wing back on the right, inverted fullback on the left, both on defend. Two defend and ball playing defenders, so a very, very composed back line that, to be honest, will not contribute attack and wise at all because that's not their job anymore in this system. The DM drops down to defend on tackle harder. Centre mid on the left, as I like to call the risk-free option. Pass it shorter, roam and move into the channels. With the Mazala coming in on support, on pass it shorter, take fewer risks and cross less often. So... We've kept a very similar concept in terms of player roles, but just sort of tame them down a little bit. As you can see, with the wingers both now being on support, both on cut inside with the ball. So again, just taking them from attack to support. The only player that's actually kept that attack and roll is going to be the advanced four, because obviously he has to be. But overall, a very similar player's tactic, but just a little bit more tame. Because we made so many changes in terms of the player roles, it actually does stay as a ticky tacker on the positive mentality. We are going to keep it down too fairly narrow. We are also going to carry on going down the left and the right while playing out from the back but this is where things get a little bit you know very similar to the start i would imagine dribble less we're going to go down to much shorter which obviously is a key change which makes the tempo slightly lower we're going to work the ball into the box and we are also going to have low crosses now this tactic is going to have a load of possession you're not going to score loads of goals I'm not going to lie to you but it is going to get that result over the line hold on to the ball and really frustrate the opposition and what happens is because you're so good on the ball teams are going to press 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 you can play out of the press and actually that is where you do go and get your goal we are are going to go with in transition and we are going to go with counter press we're going to play to anyone across the back line while taking short goal kicks and we're actually going to hold the shape again when we've got the ball try and get it off us the impossible task and lastly we are going to roll with the standard line the high press line of engagement and simply leaving this bang on in the middle and that is going to complete for you boys and girls back home three variants of the positional play very pep, in um, pep inspired should i say sorry obviously that's the first person you really think of when you think of this tactic so if you have enjoyed back home be sure to leave a like and subscribe again if you like rebuilds come on over and get involved if you want to unlock an absolute boatload of perks 13 perks to be exact and also access to giveaways come over and join the patreon where you can join over 4,600 people it's it's going good it's going good and people seem to be liking it so you don't want to miss out any longer i'll be seeing you in the next one